To the sea, she says, and runs towards the fleeting light, to the lighthouse made our home, to the shores we hone, day into night, beach shack, chippy pack, palm packed. Sea framed by stone, we slip down the treacherous cliffs, walk along the gashes in these broken hills, wave crested and cut as we sing and spin, stay silent still in wind, rain, sun, fog, wilt, into the distant horizon. Light stretches out, gulls call us back to childhood memories, familiar ground, long lost, found, ice cream vans singing collective glee, garish, haunting peers breaking away from the land, cherish or emptiness as water curdles in a lonesome cove. The beach we choose is empty, ghostly, with long-lost imprints. We dance in a circle, reversing the clock stampede, slowing down the eternal swing. Our feet trace the journey of countless pilgrims, exploring this meeting point, melting away time, dribbling down our fingers, children running in their fleet, each chime, young and old, made youthful by the warm sand and water, cold. We are at land's end now, in all the lands we have been, all the lands we have yet to be, all the lands we will never get to see exactly now. Against rhyme or reason, we glance our eyes across the expanse, connecting to another line of sight, of looking out into emptiness and fullness to the brim with nothing flushing, our bodies breaking the surface, clashing, selkies sealing their fate, going back to the first page, reconciling with a long lost age, before land's beginning gauged. We try to frame the sea with stone, but the waves keep on breaking out the simple, breaking down the wall, pushing up against the pale and bending the lines we have set, bleeding through the surface of our days, opening us to other ways, gazed beyond the familiar sights and sounds, bringing us to our first her. To the lighthouse, she says, and now she reaches this unearthed home, out on its jut, proud and remote, isolated centurion, protecting the waters from land's sound and fury. 
She bends back towards the Blair with her friends, catching the domesticated scene, the pretty parasol patchwork, the sizzling faux Mediterranean beach bar, the bloated bodies held between thumb and finger, squared in comfortably. And on the other side, the silent stretch, so close to its counterpart, a long lost twin, abandoned to the cleansing wildness of the sea, fiery red with brittle succulents pockmarking the cliffs leading down to void beach, shining white desert. A blank page, a mother calling, another home. She embraces it all.